We're going to the horse ride. Going to the horse ride. Going to the horse ride. Oh, he's mad about something. and I'm the world's okayest mom. Now, if you have kids, odds are birthdays are a big deal in your house. They're for sure a big deal in mine. I try to go all out for the kids and do really special stuff to make them feel loved. But for the most part, I'm the one planning the parties and like how we celebrate their birthdays. They'll choose the theme and the cake that they want, but I'm really deciding when, where, and how we celebrate. So I wanna try something different this year. Jackson's turning six. I want him to decide what he wants to do for his own birthday. So I'm gonna take the money that I would have spent on his party and give it to him to use however he wants for his birthday. Now here's hoping he doesn't choose something like a new puppy or 250 bags of M&Ms, but you never know with kids. So let's go ask him. First things first, there weren't a lot of ground rules for this because, you know, he got to pick whatever he wanted to do. But he's five years old, he's a kid. He doesn't quite understand the value of a dollar or what you can get for certain amounts of money. He doesn't know how to budget. We've gone to lunch and he's been like, don't worry mom, I got this. And like opens his wallet and pulls out a dollar. And I'm like, you are so sweet, but that's not how it works. So of course there's a little anxiety going into this, but I asked him and this is what he said. So for those of you who don't speak kid, he said he wants to go to Legoland. Now Legoland isn't Disney expensive, but it's expensive. It's about twice as much as I was planning to spend. I've decided that I will not rest until we figure out how to make this work. I feel like theme park trips are something that families save up for for a while, so I wasn't really expecting this. Matt and I are gonna spend some time sitting down and budgeting and going over everything to see how we can pull this off. How could you say no to that face? <laughs> okay, so the kids are asleep. And so it's time for us to try to budget and figure out how we're gonna make this trip work. Here we go. Okay, so we figured it out. So usually we spend about 250 bucks per kid per birthday party. We realized if we do this for both kids' birthdays, we can swing the two-day pass to the park and the aquarium and get a night at the hotel. Jackson really, really, really wanted to bring my sister, Stella. She's like his best friend. And so I remember like as a kid, my parents would let me do something with one friend for my birthday. We're gonna make it work for her to come too. We're Wyatt's only friends. <laughs> so he's cheap. We did it. Yeah. Go team. Oh, that was horrible. I'm looking, I'm trying to look at the camera. Yeah. <gasps> Look what I got. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I think I'm more excited than you. <laughs> Are you excited for Lego Land? Boogers. We have some boogers. So Saturday morning, we decided to get up super early so we could try to get to the park when it opened. Okay, we're on our way. Woo! We were only a little bit late getting out. I'm very surprised by how fast we got this done. And Matt and I have a couple little surprises. What? We're going to McDonald's for breakfast. Yay, Wyatt! Woo! Jackson! Yeah! Whoa! We never yeah. get McDonald's, so this is a big deal. That is really good. Mmm, <laughs> it tastes so good. Have you guys ever had a hash brown before? No. No. I've never had a hash brown before. Oh my gosh. Not me. Matt, have you ever had a hash brown I've before? Had millions. <laughs> so we're in the car. We're on our way. We got McDonald's for the kids. They're super excited. Until about an hour into the drive, I realized something. I forgot the tickets. <laughs> Uh, but luckily I have them in my inbox. Have them so we're gonna stop at FedEx uh, so I can print them out. Legoland doesn't accept uh, digital tickets. You have to like actually print it out and show it to them and I'm not used to that. So my bad. We are here. 
We are in the park. One of my favorite parts about Legoland by far was that it seems like it's designed to wear your kids out. We just went and went and went all the first day. Jackson! We have our 3D glasses on, we're ready to go on the ride. Whoosh, whoosh. We're in Vegas now. So cool. Watch Wyatt run, oh my god. Can we just take a minute to appreciate the way that Wyatt runs? So as a park, Legoland is a lot smaller than Disneyland, but the lines are short, the rides are quick, and the height requirement is a lot shorter. Pretty much for all the rides, both Jackson and Wyatt could go on them together. We're gonna go on the Lego Friends horse ride. What color horse do you want? White. White. Brown. Brown, and Jackson, what color horse? Black. Black. I am not going on a horse. Wyatt is a little too short for a couple of the rides, so he's gonna get his face painted. With Batman! With Batman! Wyatt! <gasps> you look amazing! So the one thing about Legoland, it's designed to sell you Legos. There are Legos everywhere. Everything's made out of Legos. It's amazing and it makes you feel like, you know, I want to build this, I want to do this. I like you. You're so sweet. So one of the cool little perks of our room was there's a big treasure chest and in order to unlock it, you need to complete a scavenger hunt around the lobby of the hotel. We're gonna do this scavenger hunt and it's gonna unlock the treasure chest with a prize inside. So the kids are going around like counting things and like it's all Legos everywhere. So we get up to the room with the combo and I'm like really anticipating what's gonna be inside this box. And we finally open it and it's like, Legos! It's your childhood Duh, like why was I expecting anything different? It's Legos everywhere, everything's Legos. But it was really cool that the kids each got their own little Lego set from that treasure chest, because that was one less thing we had to buy. Quick parent pro tip, if you're gonna be bringing your own cake to the hotel, you might wanna bring utensils, because I didn't. Everyone washed their hands and ate cake with their hands. Which, I mean, we were gonna eat the cake, like there's no other way. But the prime example of how Legoland is made for kids is upon check-in, I was notified of the kids nightclub, that's every night from 6 to 9 p.m. There is a kids nightclub inside of Legoland. Any leftover energy they had from the day, like that's where it goes. Jackson, I gotta get that kid in dance classes. Like he's just like letting the music control his body. He's going for it. And the best part of the kids club. I got my Chardonnay. That's right, there is a bar across the hall and they will pour your wine in a plastic cup for you to take across and watch your kids just get out the rest of the energy they had left from the day. So day two, since we had gotten most of the rides done the first day, Jackson wanted to do the aquarium on the second day. So we are in the aquarium now. They, we got our coffees. They actually made it super kid friendly and fun. Daddy, I found one of your favorite fishes. Whoa. Oh, oh my gosh, look at the stingray. Oh, oh my gosh, hello. And then the first thing you get when you walk in is this slide. That's so cool. Right off the bat, there's this really cool jellyfish exhibit and there's this guy feeding them and this woman explaining all the different kinds of jellyfish and how they eat and what they eat and stuff like that. And so I saw this tank of jellyfish I had never seen before. So I was staring at them for a long time and waiting for them to get fed because I wanted to see what that looked like, but it wasn't until about 15 minutes in that I looked down and realized that I had been staring at a display of plastic bags. <laughs> at least I'm environmentally conscious, okay? So Sunday, our final day, we stayed until the park closed because you know I'm getting my money's worth, but luckily it didn't close that late because it's designed for smaller children. It closed at about five, which was perfect for us to pack up and leave and get home and not have bedtime be super late because the kids had school the next day. Goodbye, Legoland. And look what we have here. <gasps> oh my God, literally we haven't even been on the road five minutes. <laughs> 
But there was one last thing that Jackson wanted to do before we went home. So we drove through Anaheim on the way back from San Diego. And there's this really cool place called Anaheim Packing District and they have these bizarre desserts, I guess you'd call it a dessert. And it's a rice puff that's soaked in liquid nitrogen. And so when you put it in your mouth and breathe out, you get a lot of steam coming out, like cold air coming out. And it's really cold, you can get it to come out your nose. <laughs> Can I have one? It's coming out your nose, Jackson. But while the trip was super exciting and fun, it was really emotional for me because, I mean, any other parent can relate. When your kid gets a year older, it's just like, where did that time go? You know, like, I, I feel like I blinked and he's, oh my God, that's so embarrassing. I feel like I blinked and he's six. And like there was a moment at the buffet when they brought out the cake and everyone was singing and he looked a little embarrassed. And I was just like, oh, that's him getting bigger and he's getting older. So that, I mean, I didn't vlog this, but there was a lot of this throughout the whole trip. Um, Cause for me, like, you know, as a working mom, time flies so fast. And I just, I was so grateful that we were able to give him that experience and like spend all that time together and have that much fun together. But it's just like, why, why do you have to grow up? <laughs> you know? So, sorry. <laughs> mom moment right there. <laughs> so how was your birthday? The best birthday ever. You the best birthday ever. Mm -hmm. I love you so because much. My mommy is the best. Thank you. And my dad. So that's all I got for today. I enjoyed it. And if you had a birthday that you particularly loved or a party idea, leave it in the comments or you can always text me. This is a real number and I love hearing what you guys have to say. So go for it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go start planning for next year's party because you can never start too early. Till next time. <sighs> 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 Gotta work on that Lego.